Blah, 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 blah. All right. So I don't really feel like doing too much work today because yesterday I already did a bunch of videos. So today I don't really feel like doing three videos. Uh, but with that being said, at least, uh, what was the name of that project? Free Path Finance will be launching tomorrow, I believe. So I can wait until then to do the thing. And then basically there'll be a Genesis pull uh, video, I guess. Actually, I don't know. Ah, I'll figure it out. So I'll, I'll leave Ring Finance for tomorrow. So today it'll just be two Tomb Forks, of course. And before I go on, I'm not going to call your, out your name because you were polite. So I'll be polite too. But don't ask me to do like do more XYZ type of projects and less this, right? Because you said you want to do, you want me, me to do more Titano Forks and less Tomb Forks. All right. Don't tell me how to run my channel. Okay. You know, you can make suggestions, right? And I will decide if it's a good idea or not, but don't tell me what to do. Okay. I really don't like that. Okay. And the reason, because I know I'll probably get this a lot, but I'll just say it here, uh, right? You know, I know what's growing the YouTube channel, okay? So it's really a bunch of any kind of project, right? But, you know, I don't want to just spam a bunch of shitty projects, all right? I have standards, okay? That's why the vast majority of the projects that I cover are still doing okay, right? A few has failed, but that's because I didn't, because I was very new to this stuff. So I didn't know what makes a tune fork actually work or not all right you know there are there a lot of titano forks sure i'm sure there's some of them are okay but until i actually start hearing about them you know i kind of uh, just figure they could just be scammy or whatever right or not doing too well so you know and on top of that Titan uh tomb forks make more way more money which is why they're so much more volatile so don't tell me what to do, okay? If you're really that desperate, just find a different channel, all right? Or just simply go on XYZ, all right? And then just click the tomb, uh, the Titano fork, you know, up top uh, over here, okay? All right? It, it, it's like, just just, just don't do that because I don't want this to be a habit, all right? Because th then, then I actually will start getting uh, very unhappy, okay? And with that being said, I only want good Titano forks, all right? I don't want some, some random whatever. And I don't actually like safe food type of projects because I don't like I don't like things that have... First of all, the APY over the long run is very low, right? Because only in the first year is it good. And then and then the price is, is just too expensive. Like, I know from personal experience that when you have a very high price and the APR drops dramatically, like, like everyone kind of knows... I mean, there's a real possibility it's just the price of the thing is going to tank. You know, I want slow, consistent gains. I also will take fast, consistent gains, which is generally what I specialize in. But if I had a choice, I want the, I want the slow, because what's the common denominator in all this? Consistent gains. Okay? You don't want to be like Drip Network or, 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 what was it? or Seifu, where it tanks 50-75%. All right. After going up and up and up a lot, and then it was supposed to be stable, right, quote unquote, but it wasn't. Right. It's just that's just a problem for me. So if I if, so if this if the if the price drops are the same everywhere, I'd rather just have the higher APR because then you make more money that way to compensate you for the same kind of risk. So that's that. Uh, I actually want to be visiting family today, so that's why I'm going to get this out today because I'll be stepping out in a few hours. It's also a very nice day today, so uh, let me see. You know what? Let me check this on Chrome. What is the weather today? Because yesterday was freaking warm. Oops, we we're having trouble finding your... What are you talking about? It's 53 degrees in Brooklyn. I will wear the light jacket. It's cloudy, but it's pretty bright cloudy, and there's no chance of rain. Okay, so I, I could probably skip the umbrella. So, anyway, I think, I, let me see, before I go into this, I think that's pretty much it. And then something's wrong with YouTube. It's like giving me conflicting data. So, but I, I think, uh, but I think right now it's just uh, YouTube having problems. Also, Russia just actually blocked YouTube. So, I think that might actually be what's also screwing up YouTube right now. So, you know, subscribe count supposedly went down by nine, but it's actually 1100. I'm, I'm getting two completely different answers, so. 
I don't know. I guess, uh, you know, YouTube will sort that out. All right. So anyway, Epic Finance uh, it just came out of the blue simply because, you know, now I'm looking at this and then, uh, yeah, and then I kind of just noticed this too. So I was like, oh, what is this? Oh, yeah, because there's this giant thing here. Not all these projects have it, but sometimes they have a, I assuming because it's, you know, a very legit project and they did all the, you know, whatever, all right? outreach to all these uh toon, uh, toon fork watch etc communities you know they they get a special tag hey it's currently above peg so i saw it like oh it's above peg so it's probably a good project so i just added it to the queue <clears throat> all right so apparently this is a toon fork of course and it's actually pegged to one dgen so you remember dgen finance i did a video on that that's by uh, real tim real tim malcolm here we go again. <clears throat> I made sure to drink a lot of water too beforehand. <clears throat> so, so I know that DGen's legit. I haven't heard anybody, you know, complain that it was a scam or rug pull like ever since I did that video. So I assume they're still up, right? I'm sure you check real quick. Yeah, they're still around. I have no idea what they're. Oh my god! Look, look how complicated the uh, this whole thing looks. Uh. So they're slightly about yeah. So they're pretty much uh, correct. Yeah. So DGen Finance is very stable. I imagine their APR is crap though. Oh, that's actually not bad. No, oh, this is actually not bad at all. If you're if, if you're if you're actually into DGen Finance or Tomb Finance, this is actually like basically a Tomb Finance but much better APR. So, oh okay, yeah. yeah. So that's the, that's actually not bad considering it's a very stable type of thing. So it's not designed to have high APR. So anyway, this thing is tied to uh, DGen. <clears throat> so it's kind of like what Rare tried to do with Based, which then was tied to Tomb. But as you already know, when everything tanks, you get pulled down much harder, you know, with it. Because like, just imagine everybody is like tied with a chain, and then you know the guy at the end, there's an anchor, and you throw it overboard, and you all just get pulled down in the ocean and then you drown essentially that's basically what all these things really are <coughs> so uh so with that being said now that tomb forks and easy money is now starting to flow in because you know thank god the federal reserve raised interest rates just with something basically the minimum amount which is 25 basis points now the market knows what's going on and money is flowing back into everything so right now the play are uh the play really is just to buy as much crypto of your favorite type, you know, you know, uh, of whatever you want. Everything's going up right now. So, and Tomb Forks are starting to recover too. So, I'm very happy about that. And right now, I'm trying to focus on acquiring a large amount of Poseidon tokens. Because Poseidon Black, I think, is actually launching next week, which is coming in within the next seven days. That's what uh, Poss Black, right? Or Logic X has been saying, right? But you know, they're, they're you know, we'll we'll see. But either way, I still want a ton of Poseidon. So I've been actually been shifting some money around, and I'm gonna actually manually, and you'll see in the next tune for it, I'm gonna manually uh, take profit because the APR is just insane. I mean, of course, it's unfortunately gonna go down after you guys watch it, but you know, that's the point of this channel, right? I try to help everybody because. Yeah, the apparel will go down, but then that means there's more people being being made aware of good pro what I hope are good projects, right? So Epic Finance is pegged to DGen. Uh, what did it say on XYZ? Yeah, so the the contract has been renounced, all right, and it's pegged to a pretty legit project, obviously, right? To Malcolm's uh, DGen Finance, currently above peg, but not by too much. And then this is their shares, which is very low, right? Called uh, Legend shares but it's only 1950 so this is actually i think this is actually pretty healthy all right just looking at this because you know basically the price drop won't be too crazy right because you know when you have 300 400 shares i mean when that thing tanks to like 20 bucks i mean that can really kill your project so here if it goes drop if this drops like 50 percent it'll still be worth like from 1950 to like what what is that 9.75 yeah that's nine dollars and 75 cents it'll still suck but people won't go too crazy all right so 
All right, so that's this. You can see the TVL, not so great, but it's like okay. Oh, I gotta join this. It's like okay-ish. All right, it's actually more than even what Vinyl Finance had. Because believe it or not, before I found out about the next project that I'll cover in that next video, I was actually gonna manually farm Vinyl Finance, right? Because I'm looking for ways to acquire a lot of Poseidon tokens. So funny enough, that's on the uh, Phantom blockchain. And thank God, I think the the whole FUD over Phantom is finally over because it's actually, you know, doing pretty well now. And the best part is the stupid fees are still very reasonable now. And in fact, I actually noticed it was a little congested this morning, but the fee, the gas fee was very low. So I can tell that whoever was running the, their little contracts, right, they were very respectful of the freaking ecosystem. So thank God. So that might be solid X, so kudos to them. Which again, just goes to show that I'm really glad that Andre Kranje is gone, right? Because you don't want these toxic people running your projects or in, you know, or your blockchain, right? Because it negatively affects all of us, right? And we all have seen the effects. So I'm, I'm glad that's finally done for. Oh, okay. So this is convenient for me, so now I don't have to click this. Okay, so I already know from their documentations page that they're actually very much running very hardcore smart APR system. Like it tells you right here. They didn't even tell you what the share share DGN LP is. They just like straight up told you that oh yeah we put all the rewards on the uh, base peg token. So it's like they get the lion. This is forty thousand out of I guess fifty thousand. So I don't know where the I never actually knew where all the other clowns in this thing go. But but yeah the base peg token gets the lion's share of everything. So we'll just, for the sake of formality, just click this. So we look at the TVL. So we got 37.3. I'm just going to estimate, I'm going to round this up to just 10%. Uh, okay, and then this is 26.7K. So this thing is basically like 20, 75% um, less TVL than the other one, right? So, so, so this is really good. This is really, really good. Oh, okay. Well, I messed up there. I thought this said 90,000. Oh, okay. So my mind is still foggy from being awake. See, that's why I always take breaks. So this was a TVL 37.7K. Okay. Well, these numbers don't add up because the TVLs are off. Because they're actually kind of close to each other. Because according to this, the APR, the share rewards are the same for each other. That could actually be the case. Hmm. But then why would this say 40,000 shares? Additional LPs will be added after the Genesis ends. Yeah, and they also don't tell you what the inflation rate is. That's the other thing, too. Uh, let me see. How many epochs have we been doing? 22. So we're going to have to figure this out. Okay. APR. Okay, so how many legends have been staked? It says 1,686. Okay, so I'm gonna have to, I don't know, I'm getting very, I'm getting a lot of confusing things. I think this might be using Smart APR 2.0, right? But, but because we're getting conflicting numbers, which doesn't seem to be that bad, I'll consider it 1.5, right? Because it's definitely better than standard smart APR system. But a lot of people are actually staking their their, their shares in the boardroom. So let's see. And I, I, I and they've already been done uh, live for 22 epochs. And I can already kind of see that the circulating supply is still very low of the base pay tokens. So that kind of strongly implies the boardroom is not printing that many tokens. That's exactly what you want. So for now, you keep what I just said in mind. I'm just going to assume for now that this is correct, even though I don't think it is. So maybe this is more like 30,000, right? All right, so we'll see. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't see this. Duh. Okay, so, okay, that's why, okay, now I understand. Because they split, they took the rewards from Epic Degen and put it into the single stake. Okay. Uh, based on this, it's, uh, yeah, so, okay, so it's using smart APR, uh, it should be pretty close to 2.0, so you can, okay, I didn't see this, I didn't see this, I, I literally just saw this and that was it, alright, okay, well there you go, 
All right. Uh, they have stock Genesis, correct. Okay. All right, well, there you go. All right, so yeah, they, they totally have this on lockdown. Low, low base peg token printing, right, from the boardroom. Very heavily weighted rewards towards, I don't know why I have my arm on my heart like that. Because, you know, because you're supposed to do that when, like, you're out there and you're a bodyguard and you don't want to get sucker punched, so you go like this. All right, they had a, they, they met, they talked about the Howard Stern show a long time ago, so that's where I got it from. All right, they had a real bodyguard or detective. Oh, yeah, the detective for the John Benet Ramsey who investigated her case. So they explain all, so he explained all that. But anyway, yeah, this is clearly heavily weighted towards the base peg token because obviously you lose peg, you lose everything, right? So very good. So I'm actually liking this. Uh, it's pretty good. This is actually probably, I would actually do this over Vinyl Finance. You know, Vinyl Finance, I think right now still pays a little more APR. But I mean, but with that being said, this is a safer project too, from the way it looks. Uh, but with that being said, both will probably be fine. But you're probably gonna go into the next tune fork, which I'll be covering afterwards. All right. So okay. So all right. So the APR is a lot higher for the boardroom, but for whatever reason, and this is the more important part now, it doesn't print that many tokens, from what I can tell, because I because they don't mention anything about the documents here. Or maybe I missed it, but I looked at all the links, couldn't find anything. So we look at the price action. So this thing has been going like crazy all over the place, and it kind of is doing its solid stranded consolidation. So again, it's not too bad. And in fact, it was very rarely below peg. And then when it was... It didn't last long at all. Look, it just went below peg, this giant red candle, and went straight back up. So, all right, so it's actually kind of like pretty even. It's even Steven, surprisingly. And of course, the shares are what it should be. Jeez, this used to be as high as 10,000. So, yeah, so it's already went up a lot. Look, 267, right? And then now it's all the way down to like, you know, $19. Right, it already bought them out at like nine dollars and three thirty-eight cents, like everywhere else, right? And then now it's recovering because we had the Federal Reserve uh, decision. Money's flowing back into Tomb Forks. So what's interesting about this? Oh, it did go down. Okay, it did go down below peg. Okay, it's down here. Okay. All right, so it's just recovering. So. And they paid off all its debt because I assume they had debt. So and it's zero. Okay. Well, not too bad. Not too bad. I didn't see an auto compounder on this. At least not on Yield Wolf. All right. But I haven't really checked in a long time. So there. Well, I guess we could check, right? Yield Wolf Phantom. All right. Uh, let's see. Hmm. What do I write here? Epic. Yeah, nothing shows up for Epic. So they're not on Yield Wolf, right? Just as I thought. It could be, but that, nothing showed up for me. All right, so anyway, I'm, I'm very excited to talk about the next Tomb Forks. That's what I'm actually in. Uh, I actually decided to put in, because after I sold off some other Tomb Fork positions, I now have like about $600, $640 in this next Tomb Fork that I'll show you in just a second. Oh, look at that. It just went up. All right, perfect. I don't know how this went up, but I'll just write, I'll write 10% to 12%. This thing's a little wonky right now. And well, I guess technically or 70%, but no one's gonna really do the single stake, so that's why I'm gonna ignore this. So it's better that you do the LP anyway, right? You always want everyone to be doing LPs anyway, which is why I do them now. I don't do shares anymore. I also have a very good reason to do shares. All right, so check out Epic Finance. I'll leave the links up. And I forgot to upload. Yeah. Let me check to see what is up with my YouTube here. Like, these numbers don't make no sense. What? Yeah, it's still doing that. Still says 100 subs, but then my back end says 1091. Like, what? I don't know what's wrong with YouTube right now. All right. So I'll see you in the next video. We will be talking about my current favorite pegmaker.io so this will be a very interesting project all right very very interesting but yeah check out epic finance if you're uh interested like the prices do look pretty uh, pretty reasonable and it is slightly above peg 
and it did go down quite a bit too so just keep that in mind but again the prices are pretty suppressed and low so yeah and of course it's using smart apr 2.0 system as well so that's always a, a very nice very nice thing so see you next video like subscribe share spread the channel around etc and yeah i, I guess i'll just see you in the next video thanks